Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today it is my Premier League predictions for week 33, but it also includes catch up games and the FA Cup semi final. Um, you know, Huddersfield have got been relegated after this weekend's results. It's a bit inevitable not to happen considering they're only on 14 points, uh, I do believe. And, you know, it's Unlikely, it was more than likely going to happen. Fulham, Fulham and Mount the exit door um, after this midweek fishes, but I'll get into that in a minute. But guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So, as I said, the first game I'm going to uh, kick off with, and you can tell it behind me anyway, is Watford versus Fulham. Now, just where I was talking about Fulham, they can follow out the exit door this weekend. Um, if they lose to Watford, um, you know Watford are doing okay. My dark horses of the season, as you already may know, um, you know Fulham, their first manager of the season alone. Um, I don't think they have done enough to stay up. Um, you know, so I'm expected to get relegated off this midweek fixtures. Let's not beat around the bush. Um, so I'm going to go with a Watford win, and I'm going to go with a 3 nil Watford win. The next one is Manchester City versus Cardiff. Um, now, let's talk about Cardiff for a minute before I get over to City. Um, they lost this weekend, Cardiff, um, to an offside goal, and Chelsea should have possibly... Had a red card, which is who Cardiff played this weekend. You know, with Cardiff, it's, you know, it was an offside goal, but you've had offside goals this season when you were awarded where it shouldn't have been. So, you know, it does level stuff out throughout the season. Um, on the main, you sit here looking for the quadruple, and again, they desperately need to win to keep the pressure on Liverpool. So I'm going to predict Manchester City to win this one and I'm going to predict a 3-0 Manchester City win. The next one is Wolves versus Manchester United. <coughs> Sorry. Um, you know, Wolves are doing a great job their first season back in the Prem. Um, do I expect them to win this one? No. So you could possibly roughly guess what I'm going to give this, but you're wrong. Um, <laughs> you know, Man United doing okay as well. Um, Anagar Solskjaer, second game in charge, but doing okay. So, But I'm going to predict this one to be a draw, and I'm going to predict this one to be a one-all draw. The next one is Chelsea versus Brighton, a catch-up game for both clubs. This is prior, because of the Brighton FA Cup run, they have gone games behind, and this won't be the only catch-up game I'll be covering either for Brighton. Um, losing to Southampton this week had just gone. Uh, you know, playing poorly, um, you know, but Chelsea beating Cardiff, as I said, by an offside goal. So I'm going to predict this one to be a shock. I'm going to predict this one to be a 1-0 Brighton win. The next one is Spurs versus Crystal Palace. Now I can finally put Spurs' as new stadium behind me. Uh, two and a half years to finish it. I first ever game in, in their new stadium. Um, you know, with Palace, I did win this weekend. Uh, obviously to relegate Huddersfield. Um, Spurs, new stadium, a bit more pressure added considering they've increased the capacity. Um, but I've still got to predict Spurs to win this one and I'm going to predict a 1-0 Spurs win. I'm expecting it to be very tight but just a gap to open for Tottenham. The next one is Southampton versus Liverpool. Now, as I said, Southampton did win this weekend, just gone. Um, you know, against a very poor Brighton side. Um, going up against a very good...
good Liverpool side um, this midweek. Um, you know, Liverpool, they really do have to keep winning to get the pressure on uh, City. So, with this one, I'm going to predict Liverpool to win anyway. And I'm going to predict a 2-1 scoreline for that one. The next one is Bournemouth versus Burnley. Now, Burnley ain't too far from following the exit door either. If you'll personally ask me what I think of the relegation battle, um, I think it's between Burnley and Cardiff, if I'm all honest. Uh, Burnley and Cardiff still got to play each other, so it's either three points for one team or a point apiece. So I reckon it's between, down between them two. Um, but, you know, it... With VAR in operation, you could be looking at a different season as well. Because you know, there's been goals given that should have been given, and that could shake the league table up. So, you know, it is one of them things where I think we should have brought VAR in this season. But anyway, it's coming in next season. But I want to know what you think of VAR. Make sure you put your comments down below. Um, back to the game. Bournemouth Burnley. I'll go for a Bournemouth win, considering they're at home as well. And I'll go for a 2-0 Bournemouth win. The next one is against already uh, relegated Huddersfield against Leicester. Now, obviously I'm only going to predict this one to go one way. But I want to speak about Huddersfield a bit more than what I have done already. Oh, all I really want to say about Huddersfield is when they got ready, well, that, when David Wagner resigned, that's far too late. Um, you know, he brought a new manager and he tried his best to do keep him up, but it wasn't not to be. But David Wagner, you know, if you're going to resign, I would have done it a bit earlier than what you did. Give Huddersfield a bit more time to stand up. Um, going up against an OK Leicester side. Um, you know, it was an emotional week for them, emotional win as well for the club. Uh, obviously, with their chairman, um, would have been 61 sometime this week. I don't want to say when, I don't want to get it wrong. Um, you know, and yet again, the club gave, you know, free tea and coffee and that. Fair play, Leicester. But I'm going to predict to Leicester to win this one. And I'm going to predict a 3-0 Leicester win. The next one is Newcastle versus Crystal Palace. Um, Newcastle doing okay, a very okay side, if you want to call them that. Um, do I think they're safe? I think they're nearly there, if I'm all honest. Going up against an okay Crystal Palace side. Now, even though how unlikely this is, if... For example, Brighton won their home their game against Chelsea, Burnley won, you know, Crystal Palace could find themselves back in that drop. So, I'm going to predict this one to be a draw, and I'm going to predict a very nil-nil boring game. The next one is Everton versus Arsenal. Um, you know, Arsenal... Doing okay. Um, went off to Dubai last week for an open stadium over there. Uh, you know, what I've been here, we've got very convincing warm up. Um, you know, the players got a bit of playing time that went over there with them, not the ones on international duty, obviously. Um, Bongo, you know, they're going up against an okay uh, Everton side. So I'm going to predict Arsenal to win this one. And I'm going to predict a 2-0 Arsenal win. The next one is Chelsea versus West Ham. West Ham, you know, they lost their first game. Uh, didn't lose their first game. Huh? Um, you know, they lost this weekend. Their manager said it was their worst performance. So... I'm going to give this one to Chelsea anyway, as I'm probably beating around the bush. And I'm going to predict a 2-0 Chelsea win. 
Now my FA Cup semi-final predictions. First one I'm kicking off with, and you can tell it behind me already, is Manchester City versus Brighton. Uh, you know, I've already mentioned Man City once, I've already mentioned Brighton once in this video. Man City are looking for a quadruple, which for you that don't know what that is, that's four trophies. Um, I can't see them doing it, I can't actually see them winning the Champions League. Um, but who knows. But I'm just going to predict the first 90 minutes, I'm expecting this one to finish in a draw at 0-0. Um, and that's purely because I've got to come down here and play Tottenham on the Tuesday. So they're going to have to pick carefully what squad Manchester City put out at Wembley against Brighton. So they got the team for Tuesday. So I'm predicting a 0-0 uh, after 90 minutes. I'm expecting this one to go all the way to penalties. Now my last one for this weekend is Watford versus Wolves. Um, you know, Watford... My dark horses, as I've already said, going up against a very good wall side. But yet again, I'm expecting this one to finish 0-0 after 90 minutes. And yet again, all the way to penalties. Um, guys, if you're on the road this midweek or the weekend, have a safe journey. Give this video a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.